so this month there were so many launches right there were uh, there were multiple launches all developers now i've become like i'm running around and uh, and studying all the products in the market right any product that makes sense and because you now you'll see that i i'm dealing like just this month alone i was dealing with avina uh, i was dealing with pierre that was by devmark i was dealing with violet by demac now i'm dealing with sinaya island by shoba see now whichever product makes sense because now the game is up the money the developers in the market are fully pumped they have they have the financial backing so we're not worried about okay will they complete the product or not the rules are in place now it's about okay location price per square foot quality what are they going to deliver so again i think i backtracked a bit so why i got into sinaya island in specifically is one i think shoba their villas are unbelievable and it, the quality of the product is just on point to enter the market at 2200 dirham per square foot to get access to a private beach i think this is going to be that luxury resort right next to marjan island if let's say you know the kind of crowd that dubai is planning to attract or uae is planning to attract are going to come to the win casino and now since abu dhabi is headquarters of uh, uae lotteries i believe that not going to be casinos only in ras al khaima there are going to be casinos in abu dhabi in dubai i know the locations but you know i don't want to give out any more information on that because i'm trying to keep it as as real as possible right as 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 it is okay sorry about that. so these people okay let's say chinese russians americans indians who come they look for ultra luxury spec now let's say if i compare uh dubai marina to marjan island there are a few products in dubai marina that are top let's say address jbr marina gate 1 jbr 5 lux so there the ritz so these are the products so similar in marjan island there will be like nobu nikki beach four seasons uh, you've got marriott you've got address you know so they they'll be extremely picky and they're not going to go for the one beds and the two beds what do they prefer the most the penthouses the luxury villas now if i compare falcon villas to the shoba villas there's no comparison i've basically invested in the best villas in that area there will be a, a yacht marina so from from sinaya island if you take a yacht it'll take you 12 minutes to the win casino it's phenomenal they would love to stay okay they come to dubai you know they'd love to stay in like a luxury resort and then travel to uh the win casino as it when required so and again i've explained in multiple videos start of a master plan if you always invest in the start of a master plan so this was the beginning of uaq umal queen developing right if you invested initially in rasul khaima what were they trading at at around what 1200 to 1500 dirham per square foot now it's gone up to 3000 so i believe here because it's an ultra luxury product it started at around 2200 dirham per square foot so you have a lot of room for growth over there again all these products that i've mentioned in my report the v55 by demac something very unique about that is that there's no fixed location they have these pockets in like demac hills one ultra luxury pockets you know that have full golf course if you if you choose the right v55 product so if you choose the right v55 product you have scope for massive appreciation oasis by ima phenomenal product 100% this is going to be an ultra luxury community by ema it's definitely a product if you have not looked into it you should 100% look into it nadal shiba gardens and acres by miras again it's a fail safe the, these products that i've mentioned in the reports you you uh, you just need to identify what your investment strategy is at which stage you need to exit what your leverage position is then based on that you can choose one of these products i chose sinaya island amongst these probably one of course i wanted to show my support to my investors i was like hey you know what let's go for it so they felt a lot more comfortable so we chose we exactly knew so we studied the cluster map as well so we exactly knew which villas we wanted to get into we chose the villas so we got really early into it so we had the opportunity to choose which villas we wanted so we chose the best villas direct access to the beach so it was really uh we were really 
lucky by that we took really quick action and now i think almost 60% of the villas were sold considering there was not a lot of marketing for it and considering the fact that these were luxury villas i think we did a really good uh, we took a really good call to action so i'm really happy about that i'm really excited about it and i think it's important to express to investors that hey we also invest it's not you know we walk the talk and this is not the first time right so um so most of the products that i talk about i've actually invested in them, in them as well for example the valley then rashi the ocean marina these areas you know but of course i i managed to get in a bit earlier so rivana is a product and then you have seagate of course not every consultant does it you need your job as an investor is to identify the consultants who actually trade themselves so they really understand the pros and cons so this now i reached a stage in life where you know the second i look into a product i'm like okay i know the pros and cons i know okay at which point i'll be able to sell them you know the, i got a call the other day from from netherlands so there was this lady who called me oh, i don't want to man wendy so when when wendy called me we had a very quick zoom so she's like hey so i, I bought this six bed in um shoba reserve i love sinaya island if you tell me we can trade the shoba reserve i'm ready to put because i don't want to, i can't pay more than 40% so i and i don't want to be stressed if you tell me i'd love to buy sinaya island i told her hey listen i cannot trade shoba reserve i think your safest bet is uh when you when it reaches completion on handover we'll get maximum value so it's fine it's okay once let it reach handover date let's trade it and then we'll see an interesting opportunity then so she was shocked she was like um, I mean, what she must have expected is that hey you know she i would tell her hey, yeah yeah 100% you know send the deposit buy it in sine island right now i bought it you should buy it no you know so let's identify what your requirement is you know i'm happy to set up a zoom call we'll get on a call and again it's not just about mansions of course there are multiple products in the market but if you have that leverage point where you know you're happy to invest between let's say that 6 to 10 million mark then we can get into this particular segment you know where the jump is a lot higher So that was my journey basically of real estate initially I was explaining in the video you know I started off with uh, let's say these studios in international city then it was a rave you could buy a studio for around 300000 dirhams and then you used to get around 10% clean straight roi but then handling the tenants over there was a big hassle and then i was like okay i want to get into more international communities you know where uh, it's a lot easier than so we started looking into areas like downtown jbr i think downtown close to dubai mall is one of the best areas for airbnb tried tested in dubai marina we were we managed to get the rois up to 17% per annum i think that's the highest 17% is the highest i've reached but at some point in my career i, I explained this earlier I've been doing this since 2009 even before that me and my dad did a lot of real estate back in india so you know we've always been into this my dad was a banker he worked in hsbc for 22 years so it was then british bank of the middle east so we were always into uh, a bit of real estate stocks uh, in india there's a there's a concept of fixed deposits as well so you know we have mutual funds um, so we've always been into this whole trading segment i slowly wanted to sort of get out of the the ROI model and get into the ROE model because i felt like the, the amount of profit was a lot higher and if dubai is a bullish market i'm not going to look at the property like see in uk in us the concept let's say the mindset is hey you know what let me pay around 20% value the rest can be mortgaged by the bank i pay slowly the property pays for itself it's a property in dubai property is like a stock you know if you look at it like a stock if you invest into the right stock you have the opportunity to make a very interesting return on investment return on equity to be more exact to be more precise so that's how i i started getting into trading you know where okay first we started off in dubai creek harbor i think one of the first ones were palace so palace uh, we managed to pick up a two bed and we made around 70% roe and then it was rym rym i retained because again it was seafront you know it was very interesting valley i managed to trade something in eden and then i got rivana rivana something i'm also i'm holding up then because i know i can trade 
uh, Villanova. Now, uh, somebody had mentioned one of the comments about Villanova. Villanova, again, La Rosa. Initially, the da- developer was selling at 1.65. Now, it's trading at anywhere from 2.5. It could, could go up to 2.6. You know, very, very interesting products. Now, yes, I made a, a, a jump to uh, Sinea because... I believe I believe in Dubai. I believe in UAE, the growth of Dubai. So I wanted to give assurance to my investors as well. Hey, you know what? I'm with you on this. We're not going to get into any product that doesn't make any sense. We're going to, we have studied the market. We've studied the flow plan. We've studied the numbers. It's based on clear assessment. I don't have any emotional attachment towards my investments. Everything is based on Excel sheets. Everything is based on numbers. And I'm I'm with you on this, you know? we're going together on this on this journey so i just wanted to share this uh, this sort of new milestone in my in my trading journey i think this is just the start i'd like to so when uh, i get the sp i've not received the sp yet when i when i get the sp i'll share that with you and when i trade it i'll share that with you and then probably we could take the next jump you know i'm i'm assessing what the next jump is going to be now we're in that 10 to 20 million category Let's go. Let's keep. Let's keep moving forward in this channel together, us together as a group, as a team. So thank you for watching, Mohammed Zaheb. A lot more interesting information to come. I think the next video is I'm going to share a portfolio where we're assessing multiple products in a portfolio, and the cash flow analysis and the exit strategies. I think I did this for a Swiss footballer once. Now I'm going to do it for another American investor because, you know, we've started accumulating too many, a couple of properties, you know. So I think my next video is going to be assessing a property portfolio. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Mohamed Zahid. I want to show you guys an aerial view of the location as well. So an aerial view of Wind Casino and Sydney Island. <laughs>